Hello everyone, welcome back to CMTG, we're in episode 10. 10 already? Ten. Oh my god, I need to catch up on something. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a certain Mr. Glenn Davis with me, I'm very happy to be joined by him. Um, hey. He has his own YouTube channel, would you like to introduce yourself a bit and say I'm Glenn, uh, yeah I do YouTube videos as well. Um, now I'll just put my channel link in the top of the description probably, <laughs> so the very top. go and check that out as soon as you watch this podcast. Um, yeah, so I make vlogs and stuff, um, I work in a gym, uh, yeah. He's also going to make a behind the scenes video of this video. Yeah, yeah, so, so I'm going to make a vlog the same as well. day. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Cool. Right, we are playing Mario Kart. Also, I'm better than a Nile and Mario Kart, so... I think we can establish that before we've started, because I've never <laughs> played it before. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got the commanding remote. <laughs> I'm a player one. Does that not mean I'm better than you, though? Oh, one. We'll see them, won't we? <laughs> Some fighting talk going on. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who are watching, um, CMTG, or Change Your Mind Through Gaming, is a podcast kind of thing where I talk about mental health and play video games at the same time. I was thinking the focus for this episode would be, because we've both got YouTube channels, so how mental health um, can be affected by making stuff, and just get into that whole conversation. It's, it's the same through <laughs> any uh, kind of art, isn't it? Like, yeah. YouTube, I mean, it's creative. It's uh, when you're putting stuff out that you've made. Um, like, if it's, like, negatively received, it's the mm. same as if you're putting art out that doesn't sell well or if you're putting, like, a song out that is criticised or something like that. Yeah. Or even even if it's doing well, like, some people just don't feel like it's doing well enough. Yeah, um, I guess with, like, making YouTube videos, you're, you're exposing yourself to other people's, like, criticism or oh, just yeah. thoughts and stuff, so, like... Oh, definitely. Yeah. E even if you're getting good feedback, it's just the thought of you being online and, like, that anyone can, like, kind of see you is, like, it's, you've got to be fairly... you got to have a good sort of mental... You've got to be quite mentally strong to do that, yeah. I think. Ooh, I have two, two, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about uh, gaming and mental health in general? Well, like online gaming. I feel like, because I was talking about this in my last episode actually, that um, oh. how gaming has like, helped me. Because oh, I'm drifting the wrong way. <laughs> I could be so <laughs> bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I was talking about how it's helped me because I've, I've been through periods of depression a couple of times. Yeah. And it's kind of helped me. Kind of, um, kind of alleviates yeah, stress. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Actually, alleviates. Right. Like my thoughts. Yeah, and I can see that. And um, yeah, I guess the thing you gotta watch with it is um, like becoming too over reliant on using yeah. gaming as a kind of coping mechanism mm -hmm. for like mental health problems in your actual life. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh I mean, good racing. My goal for this is just to be win to win one race. To win one race, okay. That's you, you, you'll, cool. you'll win. You will win one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off the bat, you go. Yeah. <laughs> what have you found of like making YouTube videos? Because obviously it's quite hard to when you're starting out to get your content out there and get people to notice. Oh yeah. Do you like, find that? It, well, it still it still is. That like, still yeah. does. But like, I wouldn't say it. What, what do you mean? Like, do you think it affects me? Like a uh, does it, I don't know, does it like... Well, like, bring me down when people don't see my content. Yeah, and uh, do, you, do you kind of, like, try and... No, nah, I mean, I, I know you've got to start small, you know what I mean? I've yeah. only got a small channel, so right now I'm only getting, like, small numbers, but, mm. you know, it's only going up. It, it's gradually getting better and better. I think if I wasn't seeing any progression and I was, like, trying my best, like, all the time, and I was never seeing any progression, maybe that would be... A bit frustrating, yeah. Especially if, if I thought I was doing really well, and yet it just no one was seeing it or something. Um, but yeah, generally, I think if, if I have like a bad video or one that doesn't do so well, I don't mind. It's like I know it's all part of the process. You're gonna have some that do well and some that don't. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think some people would let it get to them more. Um, oh yeah. Surely won't hit me yet. Surely not. <laughs> Dodging for dear life here. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but it worked. <laughs> um, Do you find that you try and like cater what you make to what you think people want from you? Uh, a bit, yeah. yeah. Like, not not in a way so I'm not enjoying it. I think if I wasn't enjoying it and I was doing stuff just so that uh, so it would do well, then I wouldn't enjoy it, and then yeah. that would probably be bad. 
yeah. for your like for your way of thinking for your well for your mind um, because you're not really doing it because you want to do it you're doing it because you think you're going to like satisfy people yeah exactly. which I think in anything you do that's not a good way to think about it what do you think about I think the same topic like with your podcasts and yeah. your videos I mean I try and like you're fairly new to it as well aren't you yeah. or have you been doing it for a while now I've been making YouTube videos for like a couple of years but I've only been right. on the podcast since last summer I think so. yeah but um yeah I think I try and like <laughs> just make what I enjoy as much as possible but yeah. um I think there's like a balance as well because you obviously want people to watch what you're making so it's like you want to get your message out there, so you have to try oh, and cater to what you yeah. think people to an extent. But like, do you yeah. think? Do you think many people are still searching a Mario Kart Wii 2007 I mean, or whatever? Maybe. <laughs> Never it came out. You don't know. <laughs> oh, look, I beat you. That was closer. Though. How hard does that make you feel? For my, for my second <laughs> ever race in Mario Kart. Yeah, that wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Give me an item. I'm gonna hunt you down in the burst you're playing. Yeah, I'm quaking <laughs> in my boots. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Ah, oh, <laughs> you what? Ah, oh, nah, not having that. <laughs> Where are you going, mate? I don't know. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching you. Oh. Can you fall in those holes, do you think? Probably. Do you want to see if we can? I mean, you can go ahead if you want. Damn it, I'll missed you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm in trouble here. Oh, the star's good. Like, you want to use that. You know, if you use it, if you're like right next to the edge and you use the star, you can jump over the gap. For some reason, I don't trust it. <laughs> did we win? Oh, mate, my teammates oh. did bits. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> my team let me down. We both got two points. Oh, we so got, yeah, alright, fair enough. It's technically a draw. Well, technically, I've won, but like, you know. More of a team player. It's very technically. I feel like the podcast is suffering <laughs> in this battle. <laughs> I've been through depression a couple of times, I think. It's kind of... Okay. It was it was hard because they didn't diagnose it properly the first time, or really the second how, time. How did you go about, um, like, where do you... What made you want to get it diagnosed? Like, how did you know there was, like, a problem? Um, just because I wasn't myself, really. And, like, okay. I realised something was wrong because... Like, I felt so drained of energy and wasn't enjoying life in general and just yeah struggling with day-to-day -day tasks. No, I, I've, I've struggled with uh, depression as well. Yeah. Um, don't really talk about it. Um, it's like, you know, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I didn't know at the time, but um, it was definitely affecting stuff. I think I was just kind of too stubborn to... <laughs> believe that's what it was because I was like you know that's the kind of thing that happens to other people mm. um, yeah. you know I, I'd never had anything like that before it was like more when I was um, uh, younger sort of like f about age 15 and it was like it was really affecting stuff you know like affected like my effort and stuff I didn't really care about anything yeah. um, I didn't I just thought that's how I how I was but it, it wasn't and uh, I went to the doctor about something else and um, he started asking me questions at the time my team's really letting me down today. Your team, mate. Look, it's, it's all in the point. <laughs> anyway, so I basically, I think I broke my thumb or something, and I was in the dog, and uh, he was just talking to me and uh, just asking me all sorts of questions and stuff. I didn't really realise what he was doing, but then he just goes, he just mentions depression, and he's like, uh, yeah, do you think that might be mm. what you've got, sort of thing? And uh, just the, just someone saying that made me think, oh yeah, you know, that makes so much sense. Um, and he started, he tried to refer me to someone else and uh, gave me like a phone number and all this stuff that I can look at and uh, I was just like you know from now I don't need this I as yeah. soon as um as soon as I knew that there was like a thing like a name for it and that there was like that it was something that I could overcome I was like that was that's it from then on it's like everything I'm doing is to try and overcome it so yeah. I just I changed like so much stuff round so I changed like a lot of the things I was doing like my habits and some things that I was doing that were making me sort of feel bad about myself I don't know yeah. you, you know it's just you, it sucks doesn't it because it's like everything you're doing just seems a bit kind of like it's miserable even though when there's no need for it so yeah I just try to make everything 
as as far away from that as I could. And you know, it's it's not perfect. It's like you're kind of stuck with it, in in my opinion. Well, for me yeah. anyway. Like it's like you, it comes back and every now and again, but it's just like how you deal with it every time, and you get you kind of learn from it each time, and it's like, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's interesting though, because like a lot of people have said that it's always helped them when they when they're able to kind of like objectify it. So once they know it's there, yeah, yeah. they can like deal with it's it. It's like better. before you just think there's some you just think everything sucks yeah. and it's like oh there's, that's the reason why everything sucks yeah. and it's like oh okay this I can control this I yeah. can sort of do something about you know it's like I'm aware it's there so now that gives me power in a way yeah yeah. so what are you doing now that makes you more comfortable with it and how are you able to like talk about it now because I know for me like the f- the f- like being able to talk about it before was just like a no like yeah. there's no way I would have like it's just embarrassing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, is, like now I'm that, fairly open about it. How are you open to it now? Can I ask you a question first? Is that sure. the main reason why you didn't talk about it? Because you felt embarrassed? Um, I just I just didn't want people to think there's something wrong with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted to be normal. <laughs> but then now I realise literally every, like so many people have something, you know? Yeah. Like whether they talk about it or not, it's just, some people it's just clear. Some people they've actually gone through like obvious stuff that they talk about. Um, it's just so not, it's just so common yeah. that it's like, you know, everyone should talk about it. It's good. How's it going? <laughs> I hope this isn't uh, putting you back it's, in a dark it's, place. <laughs> it's affecting my morale. Is sure. it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. You can do better in the next race. <laughs> why, do I, why do I sense the tone of sarcasm? I can, that's the thing, I want more people to be there because then they can take you out. <laughs> There's got to be a way to do it. Bullet oh. bike, I'm going for. Bullet bike. Looks pretty badass. As if that's badass. <laughs> it's more badass than yours. As if, as if it's a chariot. Like a, it's a chariot. It's more like a tractor. A chariot of the gods. Um, yeah, I had something called CBT, which is cognitive behavioural therapy. And they like try and get you to understand why you think certain ways. Yeah. So, like, I've had problems with self esteem and, like, um, I guess talking down to myself in my own head and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. And it's kind of nice to be able to say, right, I understand that I do that, so I should try and do less of that, if that makes sense. So it's like, yeah, to recognise when you're doing it. Yeah, because you kind of do that kind of thing um, subconsciously. You don't even think of it. You don't even notice that you're doing it yeah. until it's like you just realise you're just in a rubbish mood. Yeah. And it's like the only thing that has caused that is you. <laughs> how, and much, then you how much do you know about counselling? Nothing. Nothing. No, I never, never had. I, I just, didn't, I don't think I wanted it. Like, it was offered to me at one mm. point because I, I probably could have done with it at one point. Maybe it would have helped. I don't know. I just, I just always had this kind of mentality of like, I can deal with it, which mm. probably isn't the most healthy way to think about it. I'm but in the lead, by the way. Are you? Oh yeah. I was looking for King Boo. You're not <laughs> King Boo anymore, are you? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm right, behind you, right. right behind you. I saw that red shell. Did you? Yes. Oh, no way. Got win. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got, I've got bragging rights for the first time. Oh, I hope my team just beat your team. Go on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no well done. Our team is superior. Yeah, give you that one. That's the thing, I can't have you come on my show and just beat me all the time. Nah, I, I just most of the time. It's quite intense, yeah. <laughs> Especially with more people about. Yeah. <laughs> I have got to really think about what I'm doing. Get out of my way, man. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He's right behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Did you fall in the lake? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure where to go. I'll tell you, you choose that, so uh, this is going to be just be a little ad break for one second. I'm just going to go to the toilet. <laughs> ad break. Unfortunately, our series isn't quite rich enough to have adverts on it. Of course, feel free to check out Glenn's YouTube channel which, as we said earlier, is in the description. I'll get him to pay me for saying that. He won't know until he sees us, so... So you did, a, you did a nice little edit there, right? What do you reckon about religion and mental health? Are you religious? Not really. Do you think it helps to have a religious belief? I think it has to for a lot of people, really. Do you think that someone who isn't religious um, by turning to a religion, that it could help them? Oh, I just went completely the wrong way. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I think it can do. I've, I've heard stories of people like converting religions and things. 
So they must do yeah. it for for a reason like that. Do you think oh. it's people who are like who feel a bit who feel lost and they yeah. need some some, some sort of, of guidance? Really, whatever helps you like deal with life or whatever yeah. is good, as long as you're not like actively hurting other people or whatever. Before you yeah, do. definitely, definitely. Oh, we we'll close then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Wait, look. I mean, I mean, I think we should look at the points there. I don't think we should look at I that. I think we should look at those points. I don't, I don't think the viewers can see the points, actually. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> One thing I wanted to ask you was, because um, in your vlogs you do a lot of travelling. Obviously, you, you only see the times when I'm travelling when I'm on my yeah. videos. <laughs> so it's not like it's all the time. Yeah, it's literally exactly. like once a year, twice a year of that. Um, hoping to go to Am Amsterdam this year, so oh, cool. maybe Amsterdam video. <laughs> you heard it uh, here first, uh, it's an exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the most awkward thing to go on I've ever, I've ever done. <laughs> it's just like learning, isn't it? Like, you, you're seeing different places, um, experiencing the way different people live. Yeah. I don't know, definitely is good for your mental health, I think. Good effort. Thank you. It's all about See what I mean about like, spreading good vibes and like, <laughs> being nice to people who are clearly like, suck at stuff, you know what I mean? I shouldn't have used that. Do you know these tracks, by the way? No. Just know all the shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hit myself with my own shell then? Ah, oh, damn. I was looking at your screen trying to shoot backwards at you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit intense now, you know? <laughs> this is a bit intense. I want to win now. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. I just hit my own banana as well. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god, no way. Who uses them like that? <laughs> Alright, let's go for it in. There's a low blow. Yeah, that's really good I am that. <laughs> Oh no, it's actually last lap, no. Yes. No, damn, I stayed away from you. <laughs> if I if I touch you when you've got that, then I get it and I go small. So I was like, I oh, know, I just hold off of it. <laughs> DK's Jungle Parkway. That one. Yeah. Or Bowser's Castle. Okay, never mind. Let's go for that. <laughs> okay, uh, leave a like on the video if you think I'm going to win. Leave a dislike <laughs> if you think. Or I can do a poll. You can do polls yeah. on YouTube. Comment that you think I'm gonna win. Oh, I mean, oh what am I doing? I've I'm driving shockingly to be fair. <laughs> oh. He's Did you just drive into me? <laughs> I'm not even looking at that anymore, I'm just. It's not just edit out. If you just edit it out the score again, like you <laughs> Yeah, did last all time. of it's gonna be oh, edited. Right. I've not lost today, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a short podcast, isn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on my podcast and insult me. <laughs> but yeah, if if you just see me like two years ago when I was kind of like at a lower point, my social anxiety was a lot worse. Then, so <clears throat> I've definitely made progress with that, but it's still something that exists. So that's never that's something good. you've had with like you don't get fearful of talking to people at all. No, I don't think so. I think to be honest. Um, I've worked in a lot of retail jobs mm. um, so since can... leaving school. I worked in like three retail jobs, and um, one of them in particular was like very sort of heavy handed selling. Yeah. And it's like you have to be so able to um, like converse with people like on yeah. a like a like a really not not the way I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be able to speak. I don't know that kind of like really kind of increased my confidence. I think. Mm. Um, but I don't recall really ever suffering with anxiety. Um, yeah. The thing is you have to be like switched on all day if you're doing that as well, because what yeah, I find yeah. is that I tire out quite quickly. Right. Even talking to people, but. Yeah. Yeah. But I've, I've started working in a cafe, so part-time. Yeah. Well, so that should be, that, that would be that good for that, I think, yeah. Because yeah. you're talking to so many different types of people and you just realize like, you know, people aren't that hard to talk to. Yeah. You know, you get some awkward people, but I think, uh, when you're anxious, you're kind of scared more of like what people are going to think of you. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. I, I don't know, so. I'm guessing. <laughs> um, that's what I've heard. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, good race, man. I think it's something that you've got like a scale of it. 
like as in some people are just more anxious than other people but everyone's a little bit anxious at times yeah right yeah and it only when when does it become like anxiety like is it just when you're at that, the high end of that scale yeah or is it, exactly i think yeah or is there something different which makes it anxiety rather than just someone who is very anxious compared mm. to someone else? That's what makes it difficult to diagnose, I guess, because yeah. like, so everyone's got a degree of, of it. Yeah. yeah. Could you could you say that with depression as well, or is that like a yeah, probably, clinic, yeah. is that like an actual Cause, thing? Yeah. You know? Cause I know you can feel depressed without having depression, same mm. as you can feel anxious without having anxiety. And it's yeah. like, how do you know when you're you're feeling so anxious unreasonably all the time that? you've got anxiety or are you just feeling anxious because of something you're doing mm. you get me yeah I do it's like I don't think I have anxiety but I definitely do feel anxious at times right mm. but then when do I know that when do I know if it's a problem yeah I guess it's just kind of is it when it's like unrational like not rational to feel anxious in that time yeah, yeah like you feel anxious about when it's stuff. more permanent I guess as well yeah yeah how long it lasts for and like how okay. often because just knowing that could help people, like, yeah, um, just just know when there's a problem, and then mm. they can look at sort of looking for help and stuff. Or if it's just normal, and it's just like they're just going through something, and it's like it's normal to feel anxious sometimes, you know? Yeah. Like maybe it's not as big a deal as you've made it out to be in your head for some, in some cases, you know. And by like simplifying it like that, it could um, sort of help you deal with it. Uh, that was good. <laughs> good job, that mate. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people kind of probably wait, and because they don't realise that they're like suffering. Yeah. It won't be until they're like in a really bad place that they'll notice. Yeah, true, that's true. The problem with it as well. Yeah, that's definitely the case for me. <laughs> <laughs> I waited like way too long. Like I, I probably should have like known about it or been told about it or something. Probably a year before I, I was even remotely aware. <laughs> I, I've uh, I've enjoyed playing Mario Kart, yeah. winning. Uh, Definitely, definitely the, the winning part. part. I enjoyed um, the most. I won sometimes. Yeah, no, I enjoyed the bits more where I, where I won. I don't remember them, you see. So I was having a good time like 90% of the time. This is going to be weird. <laughs> okay, so this is for the behind the scenes of the podcast, yes. which is over there. I did win, as predicted. I also won, um, but not yeah. as often, to be honest. Yeah, that was a good win for you, that, that win that you got. I've learned a lot from... Been here today. <laughs> like I need to get, I need to up my level. I'm for expecting YouTube, like really good vlogs when you go travelling next. Oh, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Really oh, new vlog slick. out. New vlog on this Sunday, Saturday, this Saturday. Okay, mine, mine might not be out by then. No. so it be already out in the previous weekend. All right, so you probably you probably linked it in the description. Probably, then. yeah. All right, okay. Nice. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a, it's been a good one. So I'm freezing. <laughs> my, my <laughs> yeah. yeah.